What is going on ladies and gentlemen? We are back again with another Seeking Sister Wife video. And this one is all about Marcus and his most recent date from the last episode. But before we get into it, let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel. And every single person that is a member of Patreon where you can find all of our unrestricted content, the content that you can never see on YouTube. And the link for that is down below in the description. Now let's head over to what happened this week in Seeking Sister Wives, and then we'll break it down. What about your life and your past experiences makes this something that you're open to? If you're dating someone and something happens, a situation happens where they step out on you. I feel like not all men want one women. Some men may have a need for multiple people. That feels better than you doing it behind my back. So I'd rather us be a team versus you just doing whatever you want to do. As I'm getting older, I realize that monogamous relationships don't work because of cheating, pretty much. Let's talk about value. Let's talk about patience. Let's talk about knowing your worth and what it means. Well, knowing your worth takes a lot of patience, one, for you figuring out your value as a human being, as a person, what you bring to the world and what you bring to someone else's life and what you want them to bring to you. Now, again, that is going to take a lot of patience. But then there is this thing called delusion. When she gave this response, you can see Marcus was eating it up. He was like, hmm, mm-hmm. But the matter of fact is, though, everything that she said is absolutely delusional. Absolute cap. Because, you see, it is evident that she does not want to be in a poly relationship. She definitely wants to stay in a monogamous relationship. It's just that because cheating is such a thing that happens to her, I'm, I'm assuming on a freaking basis, she's thinking, well, why don't I put myself in a position where I'll be in the driving seat, where at least I'll be in control, or at least I'll be, at least I will know what is happening, who he's doing it with, and the whole shebang. And to be honest with you, that sounds something that can become very toxic. In fact, it feels, it feels like it's pending toxic energy. Ladies, please. Do not put yourself in a poly relationship just because your man or men in your life have been able to stay faithful to you. All it really means is that the men that you've gone for are men that obviously don't know your worth and maybe, well, no, and also there's been a part of you that has done something for them to behave in that way. And the reason why I say that, what I mean is not that you've done something to provoke them, but there are men in this world where they need a woman to come into their life and they need that woman to come in and take charge, to take control, to tame that beast of them, to let them know that if you were to cheat on me, you'd be losing the best thing that's ever happened to you. And that is something that I've noticed that women, some women in this world lack nowadays. But how do you lack this? Well, it comes from not knowing your worth. It comes from being an insecure person. It comes from being arguably even a sociopath, a psychopath, someone that is unhinged in a relationship, someone that is always on someone's case. In fact, I believe that most people probably do get cheated on are the people that are always such high maintenance. You know, they're those insecure people, the ones that are always questioning you. And therefore, they push men to go off and do madness. But again, though, the man's action is the man's action. And regardless of what he does, if he's going to cheat, he's cheating no matter what. But the matter of fact is, though, instead of talking about men cheat, men this, why not look at the other side of it? What can I do better to make sure that I do not get cheated on? And I'm just saying as an example... Having a man believe that you are his freaking, you are his freaking goddess and you are the one <laughs> that can do a million things for you. Do you see what I'm saying? And being someone that is not insecure, someone that says, listen, I'm your woman and I'm confident. And I know that if you was to go elsewhere, you would feel like a fool for it. You install that in a man, the chances of cheating is very, very slim. But you install other things that are unnecessary, that are toxic, that are just a waste of energy. You never know. But of course, though, let's not get it twisted. There are some men out there who do cheat because it's literally a mental health thing. And that's a conversation that nobody's ha nobody has or in some way people haven't even had. But hey, maybe we'll, we'll re re revisit that one at another time. But the matter of fact is this lady right here right now is absolutely delusional, absolutely moving mad. How can you say you want to be in a poly relationship for the first time in your life because it's the only way you're going to know if your man is off doing things and if he's doing things, at least you will know about it. Like in what society, in what world does that make sense on a healthy level? <laughs> 
And then the day is so sad because all she's doing is help feed his ego. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he doesn't even live in the same state as his common wives. He lives somewhere else. And also, this guy has how many children? At the end of the day, let me tell you something here, Derry. Just because you're going to be in a poly relationship, it doesn't mean that he's not going to cheat outside the poly relationship. You can still cheat outside of it anyway. We've seen that with one of the other couples in the, in the series, uh, Garrick and Danielle, where in the previous season, even though Danielle knew about Roberta, Danielle made it clear that sexual contact is not something that you can do without us all knowing about it. But what happened? Roberta and Jared did it anyway. That you can fly out called cheating within your relationship. But then there are also there are people who will literally go out of your relationship and actually go and cheat. They will actually do a madness and not tell the other wives that, oh, guess what? I did this, this and that. But nonetheless, though, nonetheless, though, let me know what you're thinking in the comment section. And to be fair, just to add a twist, a twist. Imagine if it was a scenario where it was one woman and she was with multiple men. Now, of course, that already sounds people were like damn she is da 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 which obviously you know double standard right but that's not the angle that i'm looking for what i'm trying to say is could men be in a relationship with one woman and all be sleeping with the same woman so what i'm saying is that like is it okay for these women to build up marcus's ego for the fact that he can't help himself because if the roles were reversed how would it be but hey, just, just, just to throw something in the, in, in the woodworks, just to see what you guys think. <laughs> going to be interesting to see what you're going to say about that one in the comment section. But hey, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the other side. Peace.